know, we can sit here all day on this channel, and hell, a lot of days we do, and argue back and forth, you know, Georgia, Florida, you know, uh, Georgia's dominated you the last two years. Florida has pretty much owned the series over the last 25 years or so. Georgia owns the all-time series, and it's not close. Uh, Florida's got more national titles. Georgia's got more SEC titles. We, we can go back and forth on that football stuff all day long, and, and honestly... That's one of the reasons I think that college football is so great is because really, it, it, as long as you know enough information, there's really no way you can ever lose a football argument. Uh, someone can one up on one up you on something, but almost no matter what two teams you're talking about or comparing, there's always at least one thing that any one team can say to another team to hold over its head. There's always something. And and that's one of the great parts about college football is that you literally can argue uh, from now to the end of time about football-related stuff. And honestly, it's very rare that anyone is ever right or wrong uh, as long, again, as you know enough information about what you're talking about. But one thing that you can't argue about, though, one thing that literally everyone agrees on, almost, Florida man is fucking retarded. Man, what is the deal with Florida Man? And you know, the poster child for Florida Man is who? Yep, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he's a Florida Man, woo! Yeah, we know. We know he's a Florida Man. Congratulations, I guess. I mean, I, I really don't know, you know? This guy, Dan Mullet, man. You know, I, like I said uh, at, at the beginning, Florida has pretty much dominated this series if you look over like a 25-year span, right? And of course, Florida fans love to pretend that football wasn't invented until 1990. I mean, that's what they all, that's the first thing they always say, oh, what's the record since 1990? What, what was it magical that happened in 1990 that makes Florida man think that that's, that's somehow when people started keeping track of college football, you know? Anyway, uh, but uh, what was I saying? Hell, I don't even remember. Oh, Florida man's about a retard. And Dan Mullen is the poster child for this, ain't he? He is. And I don't know what's happened to Florida um, because, okay, yeah. I mean, Florida, like, you go back to, like, uh, what did it start in the 90s and then up through a few years in the 2000s, right up to 2008. I mean, Florida was really, really good competing or winning a lot of uh, SEC titles won a couple of national titles. I mean, really, they were, for a while there, they were uh, one of, if not the premier programs in all of college football. I mean, even as a Georgia fan who hates Florida, I have to admit that. But I don't know what's happened. I really don't. And there's just a whole series of things you can look at, and it just makes you shake your head. I mean, has it been 10 years since Florida won the SEC? I mean, that's just uh, sad and humiliating. And right now, someone's typing 1980 in the comment section. But the thing is, why are you t even talking about natties or national titles when it's been a decade since you've even been able to compete in your own conference? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Even in 2015 and 2016, the two most recent years in which Florida won the SEC East, they show up in Atlanta and they just get absolutely humiliated. I mean, it's like they just don't even belong. I mean, it's gotten to the point where the only time Florida can win the SEC East is not when Florida is good or great because they're not good or great anymore. The only time Florida can win the SEC East anymore is when they're just not quite as bad as everyone else. And they show up in Atlanta and just get blown out. I mean, in 2015 and 2016 combined, Florida rushed for zero yards total in those two games. Well, 
And that's funny, too, because what do we know about Florida's team this year? Oh, yeah, can't run the ball. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're not playing in Atlanta uh, this year, though. Uh, maybe an improvement in finishing second in the East this year instead of third. And so, but speaking of 2015 and 2016, and, and this is, gets back to Florida fan always talking about national titles, there's not a program on planet Earth whose fan base should be talking about national titles when you hang banners in your stadium for winning your division and getting blown out in the conference championship game. Can you imagine... Uh, who played Miami in the uh, Who played Miami in the ACC championship game last year? Wasn't it Pitt? Can you imagine Pitt showing up in Charlotte, getting absolutely ran out of the building by Clemson, which they did, and then immediately boarding the Greyhound back to Pittsburgh and hoisting an ACC division champ banner in their stadium? I mean, can you imagine? And that's Pitt. That's Pitt. Did Texas hang a Big 12 uh, a banner in their stadium last year that said we showed up in the Big 12 title game and tried hard? No, no, no. Did Georgia hang an SEC East banner in its stadium last season when they lost to Alabama by seven points in the SEC title game? No. Of course, they have an, an actual SEC championship banner hanging there from the year before. Uh, but like I said, it's been 10 years since Florida has witnessed one of those. And it won't happen again this year. But I, I just don't understand what has happened to Florida in the last 10 years. And, and if it wasn't so funny and hilarious, it would really be sad. I mean, you've got more four-win seasons. <laughs> you've got more four-win seasons in the last 10 years than you do SEC titles. Man, that is hard to swallow as a Florida fan, ain't it? has to be that's that's just pitiful sad and embarrassing you're the new tennessee really you change coaches every three or four years you guys dog McElwain like he's the worst coach ever all McElwain did was coach at florida for three seasons and win his division in two of those three seasons so 66 percent of the time that that jim McElwain was an sec head coach he brought you a division title and you throw him away who do you think you are Florida is not the type of program that can throw away division winning coaches. How do we know that? Well, the best they could do after they got rid of McElwain was a clown that's been coaching in the SEC for a decade and has zero division titles. Dan Mullet, the Florida man. Yeah, that's right. This clown here, Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen is Jim Harbaugh in disguise. And, and this is funny. And you can try this out as a social experiment. But find a Florida fan, right? Ask him what he thinks about Jim Harbaugh. He'll dog Jim Harbaugh. He'll run Jim Harbaugh into the ground. He's not a good coach. He's overrated. He's overhyped. He's in over his head. Michigan needs to get rid of him. Then ask him why he feels that way about Jim Harbaugh. You know what he'll say? Well, hell, he can't beat his rival. He can't win a division. He can't win a conference. And he's been a head coach in a power five at two different schools for 10 years. He's obviously no good. I agree with you, Florida fan. But guess what? That's Dan Mullen, too. The guy's been a power five head coach at two different places over the last 10 years and can't win a single division. Now, at some point, you got to win something. I, I, I mean, Dan, uh, okay. If, if it's insulting to you to compare Dan Mullen to Jim Harbaugh, okay, he's Mike Leach. That's who he is. Dan Mullen is Mike Leach. He's Jim Harbaugh. I, I mean, these coaches that just coach on and on and on and on and on and can't even win a division, much less a conference title. And that's what Dan Mullen is. And so it just makes no sense. But because, like I said, it's been so long since Florida has been able to compete at a national level for anything meaningful. I mean, you got to go back to 2008 to find the last time that Florida put a team on the field that was great. That's a long time ago. If you're not at least winning your conference, you're not a great team. Especially if you haven't won your conference in 10 years. So I, I just don't know what's happened. They're the new Tennessee. They change coaches every three or four years. No offense at Florida. You, Florida, 
I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I've been hard on Georgia's offense, but I'm, I'm hard on Georgia all the time. I mean, that's half the reason a lot of you people even watch this channel. But I'm hard on Georgia all the time. But I don't understand Florida fan going on and on and on about Georgia's offense this year and how bad it is. Have you checked the stats? Georgia, more points per game than Florida. Georgia, more total yards than Florida. And don't even try me on the defense. I mean, Georgia's giving up nine points a game. You're giving up almost twice that many. And you're giving up more yards. Literally, the only thing you do better than Georgia is sack the quarterback. That's it. Well, guess what? That don't too much matter against Georgia, does it? No. Why? We run it down your throat. I mean, and Jake Fromm, is he an elite game-changing playmaking quarterback? No. And I'm really, really hard on Jake Fromm, and I think for good reason. But the reality of the situation is this. Uh, the best game he ever had was against you last year. That's probably his best game. And he's liable to do that again on Saturday. But even if he doesn't, you're not that good against the run. You're giving up four-something yards per carry. We're getting six-something yards per carry. Split that difference comes to about five yards per carry. Jake Fromm can win games when the running backs are getting five yards per carry. You cannot run the ball at all. And Kirby Smart finds a way to shut down one-dimensional offenses, and that's what you are. So Florida's not going to show up in this game and have some sort of offensive explosion. So all this stuff that you keep saying about Georgia's offense, number one, it's still better than yours. And number two, it doesn't matter for this game. It just doesn't matter. We're going to line up and run the ball down your throat. I mean, is it possible that Florida could win this game since we lost to South Carolina? Yeah, if we have another four turnovers and the greatest field goal kicker in the history of mankind misses two field goals again for no reason. But that's not going to happen. You know that. I know that. And, and, and you have to keep in mind, no matter how bad you get beat in this game, Florida, and, it, and it's liable to be pretty bad, you still have the offseason to look forward to. You have to remember that. You're going to be disappointed when this game ends, Florida fan. You're going to want to cry. Uh, you know, you're going to want to wrap yourself up in your security blanket and lock yourself in a rubber room. Just remember, though, I want you to keep in mind, Florida man, Florida fan, how happy and excited you were all off season this past season. I just want you to keep that in mind. Why? Well, you finished third in the East last year, and you couldn't have been happier. You couldn't have been happier. We heard about it all off season about how happy Florida fan was for finishing third in the East. I mean, they they patted themselves on the back from January till August about how great of a 2018 they had finishing third in the East. Well, guess what? You're likely to finish second in the East this year. So you're going to have another great offseason. Well, unless Missouri curb stomps you for the third year in a row. How do you get blown out by Missouri two years in a row? Man, that's embarrassing and sad. That is embarrassing and sad. Hell, we've blown you out two years in a row, too. But there's nothing embarrassing about getting blown out by UGA. We're an elite, premier uh, college football program. I mean, we just are. How many teams, how many coaches in college football right now have playoff wins? Name them to yourself, Florida fan. You won't name Dan Mullet, but you'll name Kirby Smart, though. Yep, you sure will. Go Kirby Smart. This this guy's comparing Dan Mullen to Jim Harbaugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, doesn't he know that Kirby Smart and Mark's Rick and Mark Rick's record is almost identical in their first three years? Yes! Two coaches that are both better and have won more than your last four coaches combined, Florida fan. Well, I mean, what do you want to do? You, Urban Meyer? Are you getting him back? No, Steve Spurrier doesn't even know his own name anymore. You're not getting him back. I mean, Jesus Christ. Florida was a terrible, terrible, terrible football program from the beginning of time till about 1990. They had a good run in the 90s. They had a good run in the early to mid 2000s. But from 2009 till now, they've been an average to below average program. There are no elite programs in all of college football anywhere that have two four win seasons in the last five or six years. They don't exist. There aren't any. Team, you know who has four and five win seasons? You know who has multiple four and five win seasons over the last four and five years? Teams like Tennessee. 
Teams like Florida, uh, teams like uh, Arkansas, that's who has multiple. Hell, South Carolina doesn't even have multiple four-win seasons in that time period. Y'all are just, you had your heyday. You know why Florida fan is mainly mad? Florida fan has no life, really. They live it uh, on on the internet. And, un- and, and Florida fan is mad because there was no Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff back in 2007 and 2008 when Florida was actually capable of putting a team on the field that could compete to win its own conference. They couldn't do it. So Facebook gets invented and they've been getting beat up on there for the last 10 years because they can't win anything. That's half the problem with this Florida man shit you see on the news all the time. I think they're just, they're, it's pent up frustration from the fact that their football team really ain't been worth a shit for going on 10, 11 years now. And it's not changing this weekend either. Georgia's going to line up and just beat the bejesus out of you. It's just that damn simple. But we're, go- we're going down to Jacksonville, which don't get me started on that. Uh, but, yeah, we're going down to Jacksonville. Florida will be there too, unless it rains. 30% chance of rain, so I don't know if Florida's trying to figure out a way to cancel this game or not. Of course, that's what they do. Anytime there's any type of chance of rain, they they, they try to pretend it's a hurricane. They ain't been a damn hurricane in, in, in games, but they canceled that game with LSU a couple of years ago. There was an eighth of an inch of rain, and the wind was like eight miles an hour. It's just, it's just <laughs> people look for any reason, don't they? Yeah, they do. But anyway, we're coming down there. Uh, you'll be there, I, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. That would make too many people mad. I got That's one of the few times I was actually able to initiate filter between brain and mouth. So thank me later. Uh, yeah. Man, I can't wait till tomorrow's halftime video and post-game video because I've been hard on the dogs this year and on in certain games. I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. Georgia's going to come out and just dominate this game from the time it starts to the time it ends. So for the halftime video, I might not do anything but laugh for six minutes and upload that at halftime. And I might do the same thing after the game too because it's just to the point, I mean, Florida's just a punchline at this point in the SEC. They're just totally irrelevant to anything that matters. But anyway... (laughs) Yeah, so come to Jacksonville. George will be there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, You'll get your shit pushed in without a problem. And if that sounds like something you want to do, come on down. Half the bleachers will be Georgia fans. Half the bleachers will be Florida mans. Yeah. So, hey, Florida fans and Florida mans, come get you some of this, bitch. Florida man puts electronic transmitter on horny male python tracks it to the location of a 17 foot long female python and captures the biggest snake ever found in the Everglades. A Florida man allegedly drove a stolen jeep back to the scene of his crime recently to ask if anybody found his missing cell phone. Florida woman named Crystal Metheny arrested. Florida man writes to his mom about who he plans to kill as soon as he's released from prison. Apparently still unaware that prison doesn't come with a lot of privacy. The Florida man who was arrested last week for trying to RKO his teacher has been arrested again for another RKO. Florida man arrested outside Olive Garden after eating pasta belligerently. Florida man robs gas station while wearing drawn on goatee. Florida man stabs man over best way to make Krispy Kreme donuts. Florida man shares video of homemade pipe bomb going off on Facebook, later posts, I went to jail for this, could be facing up to 10 years, hope they take it easy. Florida man emails co-workers letting them know he plans to turn their office into a bloodbath. Surprisingly, some people had a problem with this. Florida woman tries to scam $600 lottery winner by telling him he won only $5, but the winner was an agent working undercover for the state lottery commission security division. Florida woman jailed for 5 months because of a failed field drug test, the lab test took 7 months to come back, revealing it was a vitamin, she was initially charged with trafficking oxycodone, charges were dropped, but these tests continue to be used after numerous reports of them being a failure. 
Florida man causes 100k in damage to Walmart liquor store under construction with hot white forklift, gives police his name as Alice Wonderland, and says a hooker smoking caterpillar told him to do it. Florida man uses private plane to draw giant radar penis. Florida man arrested for possession of laundry detergent, not heroin, among 11 freed after deputy allegedly faked drug tests. Florida man arrested for practicing karate by kicking swans in the head. Florida man goes fishing and catches a key love marriage lana, calls it an early birthday gift from Pablo Escobar. Florida man high on drugs fires upon deputies who are trying to arrest him for practicing medicine without a license, he's also the town's mayor. Florida woman says it's too hot in squad car after arrest for allegedly leaving child in hot car. Florida man messes with the wrong person, beaten up by former NFL player who caught him masturbating outside daughter's window. Florida woman's toddler pulls loaded gun from toy box during child welfare check by police. Florida man robs bank, strips naked, then runs down the street throwing stolen money everywhere. Florida woman suing T-Mobile employee who stole sex video from phone. Florida man tells cops the fake urine he's carrying around is not for his work drug test, instead, it's for role play activities he and his wife enjoy. Florida man searched for child porn. Instead they find guns, bombs, and maps of local schools. Florida man has greyhound training license suspended after 12 greyhounds test positive for cocaine. Florida man college student charged with threatening to kill professor for scheduling 7am final exam. Florida man kindly offers to do yard work for neighbor after raping them to make up for it. Florida man in prison allowed to sit in guard station and order Chinese takeout after giving guards advice on their taxes. Florida woman crashes her teen daughter's party, has sex with two underage boys. Florida woman concerned about the meth she was smoking, so she took it to her doctor. Florida man brings AK-47 to middle school after receiving phone call from crying son. Florida man hacks bank, tries to steal 7 billion because Jesus wanted him to be rich. Florida woman who faked diploma has finally called it a day. Florida man passes a joint to a cop while illegally parked in a handicapped spot with a gun in his car. Florida man prisoner kills Selmet, says one less child molester. Florida man released from jail then arrested again in the jail parking lot for trying to steal a car. Florida man pulls gun on teens during bikes up guns down protest. Florida man who smashed mosque windows, left bacon gets 15 year sentence. Florida man armed with a live alligator chases people all over a convenience store, screaming, you all ain't out of beer, ah uh, yeah. Florida woman, 73, scares off naked intruder who was gyrating in a lewd manner by taking out her dentures and yelling, grandma no teeth. Florida man has been arrested three times, once for trying to board an airplane with a loaded gun, fired five times, and caught with cocaine and counterfeit cash in his squad car, he is a cop of 20 years. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after SWAT promises him pizza. Florida man who is convicted felon honks horn at cops working an accident, has numerous drugs and weapons in his car in plain sight. Florida man calling himself, the beast, gouges eyes of armed home intruder. Florida man who is also a former School of Rock student on Jack Black's old show arrested four times for stealing guitars. 
Florida man locks baby daughter in his car and nearby Florida inmates on work detail break her out using a coat hanger while Florida mother proclaims, them bust that shit right open so thank god for the criminals in the world. Florida man says he was attacked by a bobcat inside woman's home, turns out it was just an overweight house cat. Naked Florida man discovered eating ramen in restaurant as police searched for a different burglar that ate chicken wings. Florida man who stamped packages of heroin with photos of President Trump sentenced to 35 years in prison. After being arrested for crashing his car into a shopping mall, a Florida man explained to police that he was trying to time travel, which is crazy, if you want to travel 50 years into the future, just leave Florida. Florida woman who stole a newborn from a Florida hospital two decades ago and raised the child is her own sentenced to 18 years for kidnapping. Florida man spent a million dollars searching for the treasure of a pirate that did not exist. Florida man kills time in social security office by masturbating as workers process his federal claims. Florida man claims to be half man half dog, fatally attacks couple and bites their faces. Florida man gets 10 years for tricking straight dudes into doing gay porn. Florida man loses job after posting mid-surgery photos of his patient's genitals with mocking captions on Instagram. Florida man saves drowning 400 pound black bear. Florida man pulls out replica AR-15 rifle after a McDonald's ran out of ice cream. Florida man eats bad oysters, gets food poisoning, suffers paralysis, has to learn to walk again, files lawsuit and wins 6.7 million dollars. Sheriff Florida man hangs neon vacancy sign at his jail and is proud of its one star rating. Cops, Florida man googled how to rob a bank before robbing a bank. Florida man arrested after his own surveillance cameras recorded him dealing drugs. Florida man gets into a drunken fight after receiving a Philly cheesesteak with a sesame seed bun. Unable to wait until July 4th, Florida man blows off fingers with firework a day early. Florida man locks keys in car to keep cops from searching it. Florida man who works for Amazon steals about $4,000 worth of packages and ships customers empty boxes. Florida woman and husband prepping for fall of US government, accused of swindling 5 million dollars from tobacco company. Naked Florida man breaks into little league concession stand, causes 5000 dollars in damage while stealing 250 dollars in cash and a package of hot dogs. 320 pound Florida woman gets life in prison for sitting on, smothering girl. 